Okay, I'm reading from Romans chapter 1, and uh, we're been, uh, I've been sharing with you in the last uh, few sessions about uh, Romans chapter 1, verse 16 and verse 17, that Paul says that the gospel is the power of Yahuwah unto salvation to those that believe. I've already shared with you that the, of the importance of believing the word of Yahuwah, and that's what salvation or the good news is all about. The gospel means good news. And so, you know, it's a good news to not, for a sinner to know that he, not only the price has been paid for his forgiveness, but that if he will believe the word of Yahuwah, that if he'll believe, put his faith and trust in the Messiah, that he can be born from above, that Yahuwah will account him as being righteous, even though he has not done maybe any righteous acts or goods, he may not even know about the Ten Commandments. He may not know about the Torah. He may not but know about a lot of things that, he, that the Scripture in, uh, instructs us to follow or to do. But he can put his faith and trust in the Messiah. And in the moment that he puts his faith and trust in the Messiah, whoever calls on the name of Yahusha, which is Yahuwah, is salvation, the Scripture says, you will be saved or you will be delivered. We, mankind needs to be delivered. He needs to be delivered for the powers of darkness. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 says, The Father has delivered and drawn us to himself out of the control and the dominion of darkness and has translated or transferred us into the kingdom of the Son of his love. <laughs> wow, that's good news. That is gospel. That's good news to know that the Father has already made provision for your sin, for my sin, and uh, that we could be uh, justified before him, as the scripture says in Psalm 103, who forget, uh, that we're not to forget any of the benefits of Yahuwah, who forgives all our iniquities and who heals all our diseases. It also says that he has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Right now, you, as if you still have breath in your body and you still live, you have, you have the opportunity, if you haven't already, to call upon the name of Yahusha as your Savior, to call out to him and for his mercy. The scripture says that the mercy of Yahuwah is from everlasting to everlasting to those who call upon him. Now, see, there is a condition. His mercy is there. But guess what? You have to call upon his mercy. You have to cry out to him in faith, believing that he is merciful and that if you will turn from your sin, repent, repent. When I say repent, I'm not talking about just, you know, be sorry that you got caught <laughs> in your sin. I'm talking about that you have a decision, that you recognize that you're a sinner and that you need a savior. You know, and that's that's imperative for you before you could actually receive eternal life is to recognize, first of all, that you are a sinner on the way to hell. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, you might think that you've lived a good life, but the, the scripture says that for the wages of sin is death. And somewhere along the line, you've broken the commandments. Somewhere along the line, you have sinned against the, our creator. You And and because all, all of us have sinned, we all need a savior. And so... But if you recognize and understand what the good news is all about, it's about that Yahuwah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. But the scripture says also in, in the next few verses it says, and this is the, the, uh, the uh, uh, that Yahuwah, that Yahuwah, excuse me, Yahuwah did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him, through the Messiah, might be saved. <laughs> See, Yahushua didn't come to condemn, he came to save. But I can tell you though, that if you, it, that he, that if you don't believe, if you don't believe the gospel, all you have to, to face is Yahuwah's wrath and, and judgment upon your sins because you can't pay the price yourself for your own justification of your own sin. And that's why you need a savior. And that's why I've shared with you that the scripture says that he that has the son has life and he that has not the son of Yahuwah does not have life. And we need life, the eternal life, the actual, the nature of our father. We need to become partakers of his divine nature. And you can do that by simply putting your trust and faith in the Messiah, calling upon him, calling upon his mercy. And it says, whoever calls on the name of Yahuwah or Yahusha, because Yahusha actually translated means Yahuwah is Savior or salvation, will or shall be saved. 
but you need to do it in faith, believing that Yahuwah is faithful to, to his word, that he's not a man that he shall lie. So may these words encourage you. and May you, may, may you make that decision that you're going to put your trust and faith in the Messiah and that you're going to acknowledge him with your mouth. The scripture says over the book of Romans chapter 10 that if you would believe that Yahuwah raised Yahusha from the dead and that if you would confess with your mouth, in other words, acknowledge with your mouth that Yahusha is Yahuwah, <laughs> you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with his mouth confession is made unto salvation. In other words, with your mouth you can make, uh, you can declare what you believe in your heart and and confess with your mouth that Yahusha is your Savior. May these words help you today. Please share this with those who do not know the Mashiach, the Messiah. May they learn and come to know Him and to hear the good news of the Gospel. Shalom.